here is a system of linear equation of three variables without actually solving can you tell me will this system of equations have a unique solution infinite solution or no solution at all one powerful method to do this is by using kramer's rule which is a crucial topic of determinants as every year you can expect one question in je mains or sometimes in advance so let's learn before jumping into that let's first look at what we already know the system of equation with two variable so here we have the general form of this note that the linear equation in two variable represents a straight line so three possibility arises first they can intersect at a point for this slope should not be equal or we can say a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 so here we say the system has unique solution or the system is consistent and independent next we have parallel lines the condition for this is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 here we say no solution or the system is inconsistent and independent the last is the case of coincident line the condition for this is all the ratios should be equal here we say infinite solution because in a line there are infinite points and here we say the system is consistent and dependent now let's go to our system of linear equation with three variables here is the general form this can be represented in matrix form like this to apply kramer's rule we need to define the following things the first one is delta which is the determinant containing the coefficient of all the variables next one is delta x which is similar to delta just the first column is replaced by the constant next is delta y or delta 2 same just the second column is replaced by the constant next delta z here the third column is replaced by the constants now using this we can solve for x using this formula x is equal to delta x by delta y is equal to delta y by delta and similarly z is equal to delta z by delta but our question was not to find the solution but to tell you whether we will get a solution or not so similar to the two variable case where each equation represents a straight line here each linear equation in three variable represents a plane and these are the following cases which can arise from three planes all this can be categorized using kramer's rule in this flow chart first we will find the value of delta if delta is not equal to 0 then we will get unique solution and our job is done if delta is equal to 0 then again two cases arises first if at least one of delta x delta y delta z is not equal to 0 then we will get no solution and again our job is done but if delta x delta y and delta z values all are equal to 0 then we can get infinite or no solution so in a nutshell this is the flow chart of the kramer's rule to find our answer but we can extend this further for no solution case this can only arise if the three planes are parallel for example this is the system of equation here we can easily see ki these three planes are parallel because the coefficients are equal and constants are not equal you can find this similar to the parallel lines case now comes to the infinite solutions this can again be divided into two cases first one is the coincident plane and the other one is line of intersection again the coincident plane means all three planes are equal and we can easily see in this example where all these three equations or plane have the same equation and we know ki in a plane there are infinite points and hence we will get infinite solution another way is line of intersection these are the two cases from where which we can get our solution as a line and we know again in a line there are infinite points so again we will get infinite solution this is the whole flow chart that you need to remember to tell whether the system will have unique solution no solution or infinite solution we have built all the concept to solve our original question 
first we need to find delta which is a determinant containing all the coefficient of the variables we know how to open a determinant so using standard procedure we can find the value of delta to be equal to 0 so it is not the case for unique solution we need to find other deltas also so delta x which is again a determinant where the first column is replaced by the constants again normal procedure to open determinants we will get the value to be equal to 0 so now we have to again find delta y delta y is easy to calculate because we know or we can see ki the column 1 and column 2 are in the same ratio so the value of determinant should be equal to 0 same goes for delta z here also the value of determinant is equal to 0 so we can conclude since delta is equal to 0 and all the other deltas are also equal to 0 and we can see ki none of the three planes have the same coefficient or are parallel so this is the case for infinite solution so we get, get our final answer the system has infinite solution without actually solving it.